Hi guys, welcome to Hamster Workshop. Let me introduce you to our newest crew member, Marshmallow the Bunny. She is a French Loop the Bunny and is now 8 weeks old. We are free roaming her in our home. Today I'm going to show you guys how I made a litter box station for her. Ok, let's get started. First, I made a cat drawing for the litter box station to find out the wood needed for this project. To make the litter box, I bought one piece of 2x4x8 wood stud and a piece of 24x48 wood board with a half inch thickness. The store offered free pre-cuts, so I can fit them all nicely in my car. The next step is to make the base of the structure. For that, I need four wooden beams. The front bar is 21 inches, the back bar is 18 inches, and the side bars are 16 inches with a half inch square cutout for the back plate. I cut them to length with a table saw. To make the cutout, I first lower the blade to a hair less of a half inch height, removed the blade guard, and made one horizontal cut and one vertical cut on each sidebar and removed the cutout using a hand saw. With four bars clamped together, I try to fit the litter box before fixing everything together to make sure they work properly. The hay guard bars are 19.5 inches. I drilled 3 8 inch holes for the wooden dowels and splitted the beams by tilting the table saw blade to a 60 degrees angle. I bought these wooden dolls from a dollar store, but they can also be found on Amazon as well. Just be careful with the drill size if they have different diameters. I give the hay guard a quick sand and assembled everything together with these wooden screws. It is always a good idea to pre-drill to prevent wood from splitting. The back plate is then cut to the corresponding width and height. The dimensions vary according to the angle of the hay guard and the depth of the cutouts, so it is easier to measure them after the base and the hay guard is assembled together. I use a nail gun to fix the back plate to the base and then measure the top and the bottom width needed for the side plates. Again, using the nail gun to fix them to the base and give it another quick sand. The last step is to install the top cover with two hinges so it can be opened to replenish the hay. After some final sanding, it is wiped clean using non-alcoholic wipes to remove any wood dust, and the litter box station is finished.
I also placed the camera on the top so I can keep an eye on her. But she hardly stays in her pen, so it can only be used to monitor her food consumption now, I guess. Marshmallow seems to enjoy the litter box station a lot, and sometimes even sneaks into the hay storage for a quick nap. It is one of those rare scenarios where the DIY option is both cheaper and yields a better result. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy watching this, please click the like button. And if you want to see more content like this one, please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.